This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Now then, uh, my journey with guitar tones on this channel has been a bit of a long and checkered one for many years. Um, all the videos I made and all the recordings I made, either for videos or otherwise, uh, the guitar tones were coming from my old Vox Tone Lab pedal. Uh, it was a great sounding pedal, by the way. If you get the chance to try, uh, to check one out, then do so. Um, some great tones in that little bit of kit. Uh, but then, you know, a couple of years, when was it? No, probably about three years ago. I was just, the, the grass was greener on the other side. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I was curious. I was inquisitive to see what all this fuss was about, you know, plugins and amp simulators. And, uh, you know, lots of very influential YouTubers were saying that these things are fantastic and the way forward. So I thought, well, let's check them out. Uh, so I ended up using bias amp and guitar rig. Amongst a couple of other things, guitar rig five. Uh, it was back then. And I uh, was very happy with the results. But then again, the grass is always greener on the other side. I was thinking, yeah, maybe I should get myself a proper little tube amp and make it up. So I got the Marshall DSL-1, which was fantastic until it just died. Um, you know, Marshall reliability. There you go. Uh, and that was replaced by the uh, the Blue Guitar Amp 1, which I'm very, very happy with. Um, I think that is now my settled source of guitar tones. I'm not going to be uh, uh, going anywhere else. I don't think, I mean, there's the tone X and all that sort of stuff. But, you know, I'm, I'm happy with the uh, blue guitar amp for now. Um, but I had a student uh, a couple of weeks ago who was saying to me, um, basically he's looking to get into recording and didn't want the hassle of having to make up an amp or anything like that. Um, so he was asking what he should do. And I said, well, just get guitar rig. It uh, seems to be permanently on sale, 50% uh, off. And it was when he looked, so he's, he's bought a copy of it. And he was asking my advice on how to set it up and how to use it, which is what we're going to be talking about today. This is how I occasionally still uh, use guitar rig to generate a guitar tone and certainly how I use it to uh, record bass and stuff like that. Um, so here's just a, a little short guide on how to uh, create your tone in guitar rig. Okay, here we are in Reaper. I've got a track here that I'm going to be recording onto. Uh, so first thing we'll do is insert guitar rig onto that track. It just takes a little moment to load. Uh, so there we go. We've got it. And um, next thing I want to do is I need to make sure that any changes and stuff that I'm going to be making to settings and stuff are remembered by Reaper. So I'm just going to set the uh, envelopes to uh, basically right on this track which basically means as I say that Reaper is going to remember the settings that I make um, I tend not to go with the uh, the, the built-in presets in in uh, guitar rig because I find them a little bit over the top to be honest so first thing I'm going to do is choose an amplifier and first thing I would say here is trust your ears try these all of these different amplifiers so you can see AC30 orange high watt Soldano, uh, Twin Reverb, etc, etc. Now I'm a big fan of like an old school Marshall kind of tone, so you would expect me to go with Plexi. But to my ears, the amp that, the amp model rather, that captures my ideal Marshall-y kind of goodness is this Lead 800. So I'm going to just insert that there. And I've got a, uh, like a user preset that I've created called Classic Crunch, which um, if I arm this track, to record there we go uh, is going to sound very much like this let's hit record and have a listen <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, one thing I don't know if you noticed that is that this uh, little volume uh, meet here was clipping a bit, so we're just going to back that off and see. Yeah, that meter is a lot happier now. Um, so, you know, just for, for generating a basic amp tone that you can then add effects to, um, like some of the native effects in Reaper, that, that's pretty much all I do sometimes. Uh, but let's press on and add... Um, 
a little bit of uh, delay to this so we're just going to go into the delay and echo banks and um yeah i guess the first thing i'm going to do is I, I like to kind of have a little bit of stereo width going on so i'm going to use this replica uh delay here and inside there there's a lovely little um stereo widener uh called uh, as you can see stereo flex let's have a listen to what that's done to the sound <laughs> just makes it uh, just gives it as i say a little bit of stereo width now i am a big fan of using different delays for different things uh that's just giving us a little bit of stereo uh, kind of separation but you're not really noticing there's a delay on there if i want to do that i'll add a uh, twin delay to that as well and i tend to use this pong ping how that differs from ping pong i'm not sure but it does um which gives a big sort of um big ambient kind of thing but i'm i tend to, as i say i tend to find that most of the presets are a little bit uh over the top so i'm going to dial that back to about there on the uh, mix control and that's sounding like this <laughs> that will do nicely thank you very much and then just to make it sound like it's recorded in a room with a microphone let's stick a little bit of subtle room reverb on there nothing that's going to add anything to the ambience but just to give it something of as, a, as i say a, a recorded in a room kind of thing so i tend to like this just this nice room uh preset which adds this kind of kind of thing to what's going on so and that feels really natural and organic like i am playing through an actual amplifier uh, maybe I want uh, to just add something to give it a little bit of a push over the top for um, like a, I don't know, I guess a, a lead tone or something. So go into the distortion bank here and you can never go far wrong with a nice tube screamer, can you? So um, let's just bump the level up a bit there. There we go. And uh, what's that doing to the sound? Let's hear it without first of all. <laughs> and then just kick the tube screamer in you know what i'm very happy or reasonably happy with that sound um i could happily record with that maybe it's to your tastes maybe it isn't but hopefully what i've shown you here is how you can create something that that is to your tastes using uh, just these simple drag and drop components in guitar rig this is how i do it uh, hopefully you can find uh, find it just as easy as this and there you have it um hopefully that was uh, helpful if you're thinking about taking the plunge and uh, getting this software it is it's like anything which is like a bit of a swiss army knife and does many 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 things it can be a little bit um daunting finding your way around it but that is you know because it can do a million things you don't have to make use of the million things it can do you know just find the bits of it that you like the sound of and, and go with those um one criticism that i did get from quite a few people when i was using uh amp sims and plugins as my main source of guitar tones usually when i was demoing a guitar was that um you know oh well we still don't know what the guitar sounds like you know you can the, everything sounds the same when you play it through that digital crap so we're going to put that to the test on sunday i'm going to go back to using guitar rig and i'm going to record just the usual kind of demo piece that i record featuring clean and crunchy and overdriven and various different guitar tones using a variety of different guitars i have quite a few to choose from in here i'm very fortunate to say um so we're going to see if uh using uh, a, an amp sim plugin really does make everything sound the same uh but that 
is as i say for sunday and that is the video for today folks hope you've enjoyed what you've seen and found it useful and informative in some small way and if that's the case please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and why not drop me a like as well while you're at it don't forget the live stream every friday 5 p.m uk time where we drink beer and talk about music and guitars what a cracking good way to, to kick off the weekend i'd love to see you there if you can make it but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now